Welcome back everybody, Automotive Bean. Today, we're doing kind of like a older series, I guess, if you will. As you guys know, I have a 2024 Ford Super Duty with a 7.3 Godzilla in it. Did a lot of great towing stuff and have tons of videos on the channel, so head over there and hit the search bar, type it in, and more than likely, it's there. Before we get rolling, please help a small channel out, smash the subscribe button, whatever corner that's in, and at the end, please thumbs up and notification bell so you know when I post new content. So, had an opportunity to break out my dad's 2011 uh, LML Duramax Diesel, six-speed Allison, uh, just for some hindsight, 397 horsepower, 765 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, this was the first year GM brought out their uh, integrated engine brake, exhaust brake, whatever you want to call it. And um, so today we're going to talk about fuel economy. So I've had a Duramax of every variation except for a Gen 2 L5P. And um, this 11 uh, LML does better on fuel economy than my LMM did. And again, keep in mind, the LMM uses a diesel particulate burnoff. Um, so it had an injector that used diesel from the tank to create the catalyst to clear out the uh, exhaust, if you will, the DPF. And so this truck has been sitting for about three years, driven only just to maintain the batteries. And so we're gonna give a little bit of a parlay when it talks about fuel economy. This video is specifically about fuel economy, but if you guys want to know about this engine, please feel free to ask if you wanna know about this generation. I think it's the Gen 4 Duramax. Um, you wanna know, comment below, we'll make a video about it. But a little bit of the parlay from sitting, need an oil change, new fuel filter, transmission filter, air filter, that thing was bugged up. Um, and when it comes to fuel economy in any vehicle, period, driving habits for one, um, and the kind of fuel you put in there needs to at least meet the minimum requires of the, of the manufacturer itself. So diesel is diesel, basically. Um, they say don't run any type of diesel clean or anything in there to, uh, you know, lubricate it. I do, but uh, always have just splashed a little bit of of lubricant anti-gel in my tanks during the winter and a little bit of extra lubricant and some of the pumps actually have it. So over the last 500 miles coming up here, I actually right out of storage hooked up my 14K uh, fifth wheel and yanked it up to uh, D-Town. And 10.4 uh, was the fuel economy I got doing that uh, in uh, Kong, or sorry, not Kong, that was the LAT gas, uh, in the Godzilla, I average about 8.2 with that same trailer, so a little bit better, a couple more miles to the gallon. Uh, empty though, this is really surprising. So my 13 LML was a crew cab one ton short bed, had a lot of extra weight in it from the kind of hitch I had in it. Uh, the best I ever saw with that truck was right around 17 and a half miles per gallon empty and right about nine and a half to 10 uh, when I was towing. Now, again, driving habits, kind of fuel you use typically can make a difference and of course if we're pulling something a lot of people are surprised when they have a power boost you know hybrid and all of a sudden they go from 23 miles a gallon to like 10 or 11 I wouldn't necessarily be surprised at that because that should be understood we're packing more weight uh, especially in a hybrid the engines just taking over and it's using all that horsepower and torque so uh, you know this truck though empty though has been getting about 19.2 so that's pretty good. Now on the way back the other, yesterday from towing my trailer out to deliver it, uh, I actually got at 55 and under, uh, 21 miles a gallon over a very short run. It was only like 50 miles. But this has been the average for about 350 miles empty. And I have hand checked this against uh, three top offs. And I say it's within two tenths of a mile per gallon correct. So. Uh, it could be 19.4 or 19 flat, but that is really good fuel economy. Now this truck is a extended or double cab, whatever Chevy you want to call this, extended cab, short bed, three quarter ton. Um, it does have a hitch in it, a pull right hitch, which is about 400 pounds. It does have a tonneau on it. Um, so not the most heavy version of this year. In comparison, my LMM typically got around 12 which my 08 64 power stroke usually got around 10 or 11 empty, but those were both dualies, uh, long beds, big trucks, heavy trucks. And again, the more crap you put in these things, it will change the fuel economy. 
But if you're looking for a diesel, one, for fuel economy, two, for the extra power, three, potentially the exhaust brake, you know, for me, I had a uh, Gen 1 L5P uh, 21, three quarter ton, and I never saw this fuel economy period. It was like 14 and a half uh, empty and towing it was right around the 10 and a half so right on par with the, that being said but that was with the 10 speed allison and uh this is really good and this is really the problem with all the modern diesels is the emissions requirements they just choke so far down again the older ones that when they first started in 07 and a half to about 10 before they brought def into the trucks the diesel particular burnoff does eliminate the def tank the def pump all the def crap but it does get less fuel economy because of it. But really, if you can find a gem of an older Duramax, a pre-07 Cummins, or just stay away from 07 to about 09, 010 and a half, uh, and you can get into that newer body style that they kept for like a decade, um, those ones do better than those. There was a, just a short stint, Ford, Ram, and Chevy, they all, ran a small time with the diesel particular burnoff and those aren't that great on uh, fuel economy they are good at polling there's there's no question that these diesels do really good but I would probably if you didn't want to fork out 70 80 100 grand for a new diesel pickup you can find a gem like this this is really good fuel economy uh, for a pickup for a full-size pickup and I'm okay with the the, the towing numbers so if you guys are out there looking for one or you have somebody or found one of these and you're like, I don't know what kind of fuel economy is, this will bring some light to that and I hope that it helps you guys understand. Now again, even at 75 mile an hour in this pickup, it was up to 19.8. Now it's a little bit lower now because I've been going to stop and go through some cities, some towns and stuff. And uh, so that can affect that fuel economy. But even at 75, in my Godzilla at 75, I'm lucky to get 13 and a half, maybe 14 miles a gallon. So there, there's a there's a pretty big difference. But again, in this generation of GM truck, this engine I think was only a five to six thousand dollar add. Now it's 10 to 12 if you go with the Power Stroke HO. So a lot of big big differences in there. But there's if you're looking for fuel economy and have to have the power want the exhaust brake uh, most of them had exhaust brakes after 11 some variation I don't, I don't know if Ford had one 11 or 12 but I know they're right around there so as always this is about the 2011 or the LML which was ran from 2011 to 16 fuel economy